Hello, welcome to Bros Talk Football. We are, in fact, the bros who talk football. I'm Andre, this is John right here, and we got Ace. Uh, this week, the first thing I want to say is Calvin Johnson. Calvin oh. Johnson. What a guy. Calvin Johnson, Calvin Johnson, whoa. Calvin Johnson! <laughs> whoa, 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 what's wrong, Dre? What's wrong is Calvin Johnson. That's what's wrong. I hate Calvin Johnson. Hey, 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 hey. Megatron. I hate Calvin Johnson. I hate his little soda machine. Have, have you tried the cafeteria? I hate his damn big muscles. I hate everything about Calvin Johnson. I've said it. Uh, last year, I was in the finals. We were in a team together in the finals. What did he do? He killed us with over 200 yards and like three touchdowns. Oh my god. Something like that. Calvin Johnson, Who was that? <laughs> Calvin Johnson. And then this year, I had him last week that I played against him. 320 some odd yards. Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry. Oh, I get a little sorry passionate. about that, I, I can't stand Calvin Johnson. I want to go up to his soda machine, his vending machine. I want to put in all these crumpled dollar bills in there so it gets <laughs> stuck and kick it and make him give me back like 20 nickels. Needless to say, clearly I lost oh, in large part because of guess who? Over an hour, yeah. he just vanished. Yeah, that's Calvin, Calvin Johnson. Johnson. He scored like 50 points against me. Every time I play him, he has a career record game. Um, I just, uh, it's just frustrating. I went from 4-3 four and three to 4-4, four and four, like in 8th place, so I have to fight back, but Calvin Johnson. Do you, Calvin do you think Calvin Johnson, Johnson, Johnson looks at the, the schedule and he's like, okay, oh, okay, I play against Jack Package today, let me have a career day. Do you think that's what, it, what, what he does? I think that's exactly what he does. <laughs> he says the only package that's going to be is my package smack in the face of Jack Package. <laughs> Oh. All up and down the fantasy wow. round. <laughs> wow. I was a little heated because of Calvin Johnson. And, I mean, a little background. Uh, my league is a keeper league, and I first drafted, when we started the whole thing, I had Calvin Johnson. And what did he do? Why didn't you keep him? I didn't keep him because I had to keep one of three like top picks franchise, and I went with Adrian Peterson. Then we then changed the rules where I would have been able to keep them, but it was too late. I think uh, the guys in my league got me. Boy, you are the goddamn devil. And now Calvin Johnson just dominates. They cheated you out of Calvin Johnson. Dominates me. I think he knew that you dropped him. He was like, I'm going to fall out I feel too, too impotent to even to wear my cup now. <laughs> I don't even need a cup. Jack Package is cupless now, thanks to Calvin Johnson. But enough about That's you know my squad and our loss. So let's go over, John. How did you guys do? So the Rathacon, our horrible, horrible team, all my injuries, all my buys, and I lost. Oh. But it's, I lost by three, three point seven points. Ouch. Um, guy had a pretty nice squad, like from, just on paper, he was gonna outscore me by like 40 points. Okay. So it was horrible. Um, picked up Kenny Stills, Andy Dalton started for me, fuck you Brady, excuse my <laughs> language. No, you suck, I hate you. Goodness gracious, did you see his head before the game? I bet he used my strong hand. It was horrible. <laughs> and then his game, and then his hand during the game was even worse. So, uh, goodness gracious. But that's okay. Dalton did it for me. Head stills. Julius Thomas went down. Ooh. More injuries. More injuries. That's okay. Maurice Jones Drew had a, f a fairly good oh, game. There you go. Finally, he showed up. Re uh, Richard Mendenhall, who was my other starting running back, guess what? Was injured. <laughs> So, good escape. I can't first. escape it. Mine seems bad, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. Did what I could do. Uh, Ken Stills had a huge game. Commissioner Gordon doing his thing. Ooh, yeah, Commissioner Gordon. Again, He's the, been a bright spot in the season, I feel like. Uh, a lot yeah. of people are going to be going high for him next Absolutely. season. Absolutely. He's draft. He is, he is a stud. Dalton, the Red Rocket, I mean, I think that's his nickname. <laughs> Who knows, Gingers? Uh... Please don't steal my soul. <laughs> but, you know, I had a valiant effort. The guy had Stacy, Lacey, Peterson, Wilson. Wilson! Wow. Die. He had a stack. A whole bunch of female names, huh? He was killing me, man. He, I, I only lost by three. Um, you know, I'm just going to ride the wave of this positive vibes. You know, and I'm going to try and kill it. You still have a woodhead, you know? You guys can still do bro things. <laughs> but that's... Off 
you know, that's not on the screen. Like, Woodhead, I don't have Woodhead on my team. It just, it's just have him. He's just in my life. life. Yeah. yeah I think once you have Woodhead, we live to get radical. You'll always have Woodhead. <laughs> he is with us in spirit. Yeah, go. Absolutely. You know? So Woodhead, wherever but, you are out there, tap a keg for us. You know, pound about twelve brews, easy. And we're gonna party with you, uh, Ace. Wait, now we're to your squad. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Had, had to get that in. De definitely. What's up with your squad? Uh, you base know, life. Uh, that base life. Um. Unfortunately, like my two other bros, I pulled out a win. Oh, so, uh, sure. I'm still living that base life. Um, I battled my uh, second arch nemesis, Carlos Lopez, Los Guapos. He thought he was going to win me. Mm-mm, honey. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, um, he, had a, he had a really good squad. He, uh, he played Tony Romo. Um, <laughs> Wait, you said he had a good squad. Yeah, Tony Romo. Tony Bromo? Tony Romo. Tony Homo? Tony Slomo? Tony Romo. You already said Bromo? Tony No Hose? Well, he tried to play me. He, he, he can't see me. That bass life, we had Harry yeah, Douglas. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's who's still producing after, you know, Julio Jones going down, Roddy White. Great pickup. Um, who is this man? Uh, he's the one that's making my team win and yours losing. Um, <laughs> Actually, yeah, the guy yeah, that don't, Harry don't, yeah, he did beat me. That's exactly, very Harry uh, Douglas. But honestly, so you have two arch nemesis. Like, what are you, Tony Stark or something? Hey, you know, I mean, everyone's after the the base life right now. We're we're just on a winning streak, so it's tough being on top. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely tough to be on top. Uh, okay. But, you know, um, it's kind of crazy, though. Like, even though after he suffered the loss, Los Guapos ended up, like, celebrating. We have video of him celebrating. Check it out. I would be pretty demoralized after a loss, but he was a... Uh, I mean, you out. can't, can you okay. blame the guy? I mean, yeah, I think John was in the background. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that, no, 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 that was, that was yeah. yeah, plus he also didn't have a new comb over. Check out uh, John's new comb over. I, I'm feeling more attractive just being splashed in the radiance of this casket. Kind of, I'm kind of jealous that you get to sit next to it. I, I know, right? You guys are working way too hard for your Christmas gifts. Number, one. <laughs> number two, if it's some of that product, as long as like our gift is some of that product, which is up in the hair, then we we good. What is that guava? <laughs> that, that's that's product right there. It's that's a not hair shampoo, lotion, styling gel. That's product. Product basically. But back to fantasy Shout football. Shout out to Jeanette. Back to, so you got the win. Squad's looking real good. So what's your record right now? Um, right now I'm six and two. Um, Goodness. I'm sitting in first place. Uh -oh. You know, going you know. Uh, you can get one too. Um, first place right now. Um, so out of a twelve team league, I'm number one. So I like this. So we got like last place, kind of middle ground, and then we first uh, we, have, we have we have the worst everything. luck in the world. Trying to cover everything. Middle of the so pack. Get a good number one view Base and idea life. of how to manage each type of squad. What you do if you are managing a bottom of the barrel team is uh, get a new do and holler at some females. <laughs> Uh, what you do if you're in the middle of the pack and you're just but missing I playoffs because of one guy, you have a heart attack, get your blood pressure raised up because of Calvin Johnson! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And if you are uh, in first place, you let all the haters you live that base life. hate, and uh, you let the mommy pile up. You know what I mean? If, if they ain't hating, then you're not doing nothing right. That's what I'm saying, right? That's what's that's up. What, that's what I like to hear. So, um, we are getting really close to kind of that playoff stretch. Absolutely. Um, what about there's uh, four four games yeah, about until, four or five more games until yeah, playoffs yeah, start. Definitely. So basically, you have a couple weeks really to make the playoffs if you're not in there. Um, always, we want to talk about you know uh, pickups, uh, waiver guys. I know um, one person I'm thinking about is probably uh, Darius Hayward Bay. There's talk is, is he going to be the number one option in Indy? Um, I still think T.Y. Hilton's pretty good. Like he can stretch the field. He's fast, but Bay's looking big. He's yeah. looking like he can be a nice possession guy. Um, yeah. And Luck's going to throw it, and he's yeah. going to throw it to somebody. So I'm thinking that's someone to pick up. Yeah, um, no, def de definitely give him some looks as a, probably a third receiver and or flex. Um, he does have 
you know, he drops the ball yeah. a good yeah. amount. But, you know, Pan hands. Yeah, but uh, um, you got to give him. If he's going to be a normal guy, if he's going to get the targets, you have to. Yeah, Your guy stills. I mean, I'm stills, sure he blew up. Uh, yeah, he gonna did. Get oh, absolutely. But uh, the my reasoning behind picking him up was uh, Drew Brees spreads the wealth. Right. Um, so I was thinking, okay. He's Robin Hood. <laughs> uh, sir, give me some of those passes, sir. But, but, but still, yeah, still, so, I mean, aside from like Jimmy Graham, yeah. It's really hit or miss of who's gonna okay. get the touchdowns. Pierre Thomas looking good. Sproles had huge games in the beginning. Now he's kind of like, where is he? So in a way, would you say that's kind of like a hard or bad thing to do as far as picking up some of those players? Like you never know for sure is my guy on New Orleans gonna get targeted? I mean, I was I was gonna say about Jared Boykin on, on Green Bay Packers, same thing. You know, like um, I know with oh, yeah. um, Boykin, uh, Randall Cobb going down. I think James Jones is coming back. They're they're thinking of Michael Finley's done. Jermichael, so you know. I know Rodgers is going to have to like spread the ball somewhere else. Um, Jared Boykin had a really good game week seven. Um, okay. He had a semi, you know, a semi nice game. I think at eighty yards um, um, week eight. So you know, Rodgers do spread the ball too as well. So yeah, that's um, you know, I I do notice that Green Bay, which is my team, they're they're starting to run the ball more. Eddie Lacy had like twenty plus carries. That guy killed the Lacy and Stacy. Those guys are legit. Yeah, they, they they look, look, yeah. Uh, and both of those running backs pick them up. What's the number two rule? Hey, if he has dreads, he's a beast. And does Lacey have dreads? I believe he does. So he has baby dreads. He's yeah. baby dreads. Beasting. He's baby beasting. Right Do you now. know who doesn't have dreads? Calvin Johnson. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Then how do he kill you? I, the coaches think he has dreads. I want to go to the defensive coaches, put three guys on him. For Christ's sake, the man has no dreads. But they did put beasting. three guys on. He's beasting. Jeez, Calvin um, Johnson. Someone I, I I'm I'm actually paying attention to is um, Reed, the tight end from Washington Redskins. Oh my gosh, yeah, that he he had Reed. <laughs> yeah, like he like he's he came out of nowhere. Oh my god, it's like Griffin it. found like a new a new target. Like a, yeah, you know, actually funny story. I actually picked up Hankerson, morning of. Sunday, Sunday morning, because I'm like, gosh, I have no receivers, <laughs> and I picked story. up Stills and Hankerson, and Hankerson had one catch for a touchdown. Got him, coach. Ah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Uh, I think that's going to probably wrap it up for us. You know, we got some good stuff, a lot of good waiver pickups, uh, time to really uh, hanker down, you know. Um, Season's coming to a close, only a couple more weeks until it's playoffs. Hopefully we will see some of us, uh, probably not all of us, in the playoff weeks. But I uh, hope your squad's good. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, feel free to leave them down below about who to start, who to bench. And, of course, if you are playing against Calvin Johnson, may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Calvin Johnson!